Well, someone dressed in a panda bear costume doesn't sound too intimidating, but police say tempers flared and a man dressed as a panda allegedly attacked a Grove City College student. David Highfield is just back from the school and joins us live with more New at 11. David. Ken, this is definitely a weird one. The police chief tells me that there was actually someone dressed as a panda, someone dressed as a gorilla, and someone dressed as a marching band member. And it was a student who happened to be nearby who wound up in a chokehold with a bloody nose. What happened last weekend on the Grove City College campus isn't the kind of bear attack you might normally hear about on the news. In this case, it wasn't really a bear, but a man dressed as a bear in a panda costume. But none of the students I talked with had heard about it. At the school here? At the school. No, I don't know anything about that. I have no idea. This is news to me. The beginning of the story sounds like a joke. Police say there was the guy in the panda suit, someone dressed as a gorilla, and someone dressed as a marching band member. They were near Map Hall. It was very late, and they were reportedly being obnoxious to others. Police say a 17-year-old student didn't like it, so he took the mask off the guy dressed as a panda. And that's when things allegedly got violent. The police chief tells me the guy in the panda suit grabbed the student in a chokehold, punched him, and the two scuffled before the three people in costumes took off. Police tell me there are surveillance cameras in the area, but they didn't capture the incident. It doesn't surprise me. The punching surprises me, but not the outfits. Like, oh, really? No. People do that all the time during uh, exams. So maybe this was just the beginning of the school revelry. <laughs> it's not entirely out of the ordinary. Grove City College has have very strange sense of humor, but it is odd that it should be violent. Well, this happened last Saturday at 1230 in the morning. The police chief says he is not aware that paramedics needed to be called or anything. He believes the worst of the students' injuries was a bloody nose. Police are trying to figure out who was dressed as the panda. Reporting live tonight, David Highfield, KDKA TV News.